Hello and welcome to this tech tip. Today we wanted to show you how to count occurrences within cases in our IBM SVSS statistics. My name is Astrid Cook and I'm an analyst here at version one. So we wanted to show you today how to count occurrences within cases. And to give you an example of when this can be useful, you might have a satisfaction survey that has a number of questions with the same measurement scale. So you could use this procedure to calculate the total number of, for example, very satisfied responses across a number of questions. So you could see for each respondent how many times they said very satisfied across the questions. Now in this example, we're going to use a data file called satisfaction.sav. So here's the file name. The file is located in the installation folder of SPSS, and it's in a file called samples. You can also access this file if you go on the file menu, and you go to welcome dialog, and then you select the sample file section, and that will be on the left-hand side of the welcome dialog box, and you'll see there are a number of sample data files there. Now we're going to look at the last six questions in this data file. And these questions look at price satisfaction, variety satisfaction, organization satisfaction, service satisfaction, item quality satisfaction, and overall satisfaction. And they're all measured on the same scale. So you can see the scale here. One is for strongly negative. Two is for somewhat negative. Three is for neutral. Four is for somewhat positive and five is for strongly positive. Now to get started, I'll go to the transform menu. So you can see the transform menu is here and I'll select count values within cases. Then what I'll need to do is create a target variable name. So here I'm going to create the target variable name, strongly positive. Then I select the questions here that I want to include. So these are the six questions. These are all measured on the same scale, so one to five, and then I'll click on the Define Values button. Now we want to count occurrences of strongly positive, so what we'll do is click on the value button and type in five. Then we'll click on Add to add it to the Values to Count section. So you can see it's been added here. Then we'll come down and we'll click Continue, and then we'll click OK in the main dialog box. So we'll have a new variable in our data set. And you can see for this respondent here, they gave a value of five one time, so it has a count of one. If you look at this respondent here, they gave a value of five three times. And then you can, for example, run a table on strongly positive. One of the things that you'll notice is that 22% of respondents responded once with strongly positive. Another 12% responded twice. It's interesting to note, however, that close to half never gave the value of five for strongly positive. So now let's look at how to count occurrences within cases in SPSS. So I'm in SPSS, and here you can see my questions. So these are the questions that I'm interested in. If I go into the variable view, you can see that they're all measured on the same scale. Of course, I'm in version 29.0.1, so I can click on the overview tab. And if I come down, I can see these six questions again. I can look at price. And I can look at quality. I can look at overall satisfaction. So you can look at each question individually in the overview tab. Now, if I want to count values across the cases, I'll go to the transform menu. Do you see count values within cases? So I'll click on that. I'll create a uh, target variable name. So I'm going to call this strongly positive. And I will select the variables that I want to count across. I can also give this a label. I next need to click on the Define Values button. Here, I'll put in the value five, 
and I'll click on add. And I'll click continue. Now, if I just right click on one of these and I click on the variable information, you can see it will show me that one is a code for strongly negative to somewhat negative. And down here I can see five is a code for strongly positive. So we want to count the fives across these six questions. And I will just click OK. And now I have my new variable. And again, you can see here we have this respondent. You can see three times they recorded a five. With this respondents, twice they recorded a five. Now what we can do is we can run some descriptive statistics. And we can see how many times they gave a response of strongly positive. So that's everything we wanted to show you today. For more tech tips, you can go to the tech tips section within the Learning Hub. You can contact us at spssadmin at version1.com. You can phone us and you can check out our website at www.spssanalyticspartner.com. So thanks for watching and bye for now.